What is up, Taki people? And I'm on the side, and again, I have one more budget oriented smartphone with me for our playlist called Good Specs, Good Price. And if you don't know about this playlist, then go check it out right now by clicking this card over here. And in this playlist, I used to upload a lot of unboxing and reviews of budget smartphones with good specs and good price under 5000 rupees, which you really cannot afford to miss. So just make sure you check that out right now. And in this video, I am going to unbox this newly launched smartphone called InFocus Bingo 10. So let's do it. But before that, let's take a look at the specifications of this phone. This InFocus Bingo 10 is having a 4.5 inch of 480p FWVGA display, 1.3 GHz of quad core processor with MediaTek chipset, 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage, which can be expandable up to 32 GB, 5 megapixel rear, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, 2000 mAh of battery. So, guys, let's just unbox it and let me just break the seals we have over here. So let me just open the box. So guys, the first thing we see in the box is the phone itself in focus bingo 10 itself. Let me keep it aside and let's take a look at what else we have in the box. So we have this uh, quick start guide we have, this small quick start guide we have in the box and uh, let's me just go to so here we have the charger and the rating of this charger is 5 volts 1 ampere and the next thing we have in the box is the micro usb to usb data cable and the last thing we have in the box is the 2000 mAh battery and we do not get earphones within the box so you have to purchase it separately guys here we have the in focus bingo 10 itself and as you can see the looking wise it looks pretty good and the in hand feel is also very good and we have this color combination of white with lime green over here which feels great and the build quality is actually plastic and let me just remove this back cover out there so as you can see this is the back cover of this of the phone and it is plastic but a good quality plastic and let me just show you the sim slots so as you can see you can insert your sim one over here in this slot your micro sd card in this slot and if you can see on the camera the sim 2 slot is located over here and this is the slot for battery you can insert your 2000 milliampere battery over here and again we can notice the SAR values here as well so it is 0 0.710 watt per kg for head and 0 0.846 watt per kg for body so it's quite low and not that high so let me just insert this battery over here in this slot let me just put the back cover back to the phone and let me now power on this phone for the very first time and while that I mean boots up let's take a physical overview of this at the top we have a 3.5 mm audio jack along with the micro USB port at the right side we have power button and volume rockers at the bottom we can see a primary microphone and at the left side we do not have anything at the back side of the phone we can see a 5 megapixel rear camera with single LED flash in focus branding and speakers over here at the front we have a 5 megapixel front facing shooter again with LED flash earpiece some sensors and I guess it's an LED notification light and it is booting up so let me complete these first boot formalities and I will be back after that Guys, we are in the user interface right now and as you can see we have these home button and back button within the screen and the great thing about this phone I guess is the that uh, we are getting Android 6.0 marshmallow out of the box so that's great and it is the main highlight of this phone I guess nowadays when we can see every new smartphone launching is with the Android lollipop and we are getting Android marshmallow in a budget smartphone like this which is priced at 4300 rupees only so that's a great thing I guess and now let me just go to storage where's the storage 
so yeah out of 8 gb as you can see 4 gb approximately 4 gb of internal storage is free after initial boot and now let me just quickly check if this phone supports usb otg or not so let me just insert this usb otg in this phone i cannot see any kind of pop-up or notification as of now but now let's just move on to the file manager so yeah here it is so yeah so usb otg is not supported in this phone as expected as you can see so that could be a minor con of this phone we can notice here i guess now guys if you take a look at the camera interface of this phone then as you can see uh, this is the camera interface we have in this phone it's quite simple and not that unique and we do get this hdr mode as well along with the modes like uh, panorama and face beauty mode and all that stuff and the good thing about the camera of this phone is that we have the led flash at the front as well so that's quite great and now if we talk about the camera quality of this phone then as you can see in these camera samples the picture quality we are getting is just decent and uh, we have a fixed focus camera and not an auto focus camera so that means you cannot tap to focus an object and also one more thing that the picture comes out to be slightly better if you turn on the HDR mode and that's quite obvious I guess and if you take a look at the camera samples you are like watching right now on your screens so the quality is a little bit shaky I would say and noisy as well you can say that yeah so the overall camera performance of this phone is just decent and not that great if we compare it with the some of the competitors of this phone for example swipe connect 5.1 which I reviewed earlier the camera was slightly better on that swipe connect 5.1 according to my personal opinion and you can also check out the camera samples by yourself and compare it by yourself just download the camera samples of both these phones from our website which is www.nccyberdecoders.ml and I am saying it because I felt it because I'm using this phone for like two days till date yeah next guys if we talk about the display of this phone then we have a 4.5 inch of FWVGA display 480p and the display of this phone is pretty good but again guys the viewing angles are not great enough if you can see it on the camera the viewing angles are not that great if we compare it with the swipe connect 5.1 again guys the uh, display is also not slightly better much better in swipe connect 5.1 according to my personal opinion and you can also feel it if you like just watch my review of swipe connect 5.1 on this youtube channel so just make sure you watch it like for example if you uh, watch one movie in this phone then like my personal experience watching movie in this phone was not great but uh, the speakers were loud enough yeah the speakers were loud enough and even the call clarity of this phone is great and let me just play one song over here just for an example so there we go So as you can see the speakers were loud enough and the music was also sort of a clear and crystal clear. So that's all I have to uh, say about the display of this phone. As this was the quick review of this phone and not in detailed review and now if you ask for my personal opinion or final verdict on this phone then I would say you can go for it but I would personally prefer to go with the swipe connect 5.1 because we are getting better specifications better camera better display and most importantly lower price on that swipe connect 5.1
and even the battery is huge and massive in swipe connect 5.1 we have a 3000 milliampa battery on that phone and in this phone we just have 2000 milliampa battery which can give you a backup of like uh, i would say if you are a casual user or light user you could get a battery backup using this phone for around uh, 6 7 or maximum 8 hours i would say but if you are sort of a medium or upper medium user then you can get a battery backup of like uh, i would say 3 4 hours using this phone so yeah that's all about the battery of, of this phone so it's quite obvious that the battery was amazing on swipe connect 5.1 and again guys please don't take me in wrong way i am saying it because i felt it and you can also feel it you can also notice it it is clearly noticeable that the specifications are much better on swipe connect 5.1 the camera is better in swipe connect 5.1 you can compare by yourself just download the camera samples of both these phones and compare it yourself and obviously the battery is also much much better in swipe connect 5.1 i was getting a screen on time of more than 4 hours using the, that phone and using this phone i was just getting a battery uh, sorry screen on time of like um 1 2 hours i would say uh, i cannot show you the graph of that battery right now because i don't have it as of now i just formatted the phone so that's why but it's quite obvious we have a 3000 milliampa battery on that phone and in this phone we just have a 2000 milliampa battery so that's quite obvious that the battery is going to be better in that connect 5.1 right and most importantly the price is 300 rupees lesser in swipe connect 5.1 which is priced at 4000 rupees whereas this in focus bingo 10 is priced at 4300 rupees So what else you can ask for? Again, guys, reminding you that please don't take me in wrong way. It's not like that. I'm saying that it is a bad phone. It's a poor phone, or whatever you call it. It is a good phone in this price segment of forty three hundred rupees. You can go for it if you like this brand in focus, or if you liked the build quality of this phone, if you liked the looks of this phone, or anything. You can go for it. I'm not saying just don't go for it. I was just giving my personal opinion that if I have a budget of four thousand rupees to forty five hundred rupees, then I would personally prefer to go with Swipe Connect five point one because everyone wants good specifications and good stuff in their phone, right? So it is available in Swipe Connect five point one, and it's not like it is not available in this phone. It is, but something on a lower side, okay. so i was trying to say is go for whatever phone you like just compare the camera samples of this phone compare the display of this phone yourself then take your decision but if you like ask for my personal opinion then i would say to go with swipe connect 5.1 because it is 300 rupees cheaper as well and we are getting better specifications as well so yeah that's it that's what i'm trying to say and and i would apologize if i had said anything wrong in this video so yeah that's it i guess i hope this video helped you if yes then please give this video a big big thumbs up it will take less than a second man so just smash the thumbs up button below right now and if you have any confusion suggestion feedback or anything regarding this phone regarding me regarding this channel or even regarding mr bean just write it down in the comment section down below and and one more thing that i have created one facebook page called naman which is my name yeah so just like this facebook page right now to kept informed about our future uploads and all that shit which going to happen on this youtube channel so just make sure you like this facebook fan page right now here is the link or whatever you call it and also make sure you follow me on instagram at namanchavda_underscore and you can see this username on your screens as well right now so just make sure you follow me over there and yeah that's it i guess thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you in my next video
till then stay techy